My favorite part of the day is lunchtime. I get to hang out with friends and joke around. We tell funny stories and I get to eat. Some days I feel like I'm always hungry and lunch will never come. This reminds me of one of my worst days ever. I woke up late, couldn't find my shoes, realized I didn't have my homework done, and we were out of my favorite breakfast cereal. Right before I walked out for school, I spilled my drink all over me. I quickly changed clothes and ran out the door. I had so many worries on my mind that day that I left my lunch sitting on the kitchen counter. When lunchtime rolled around, I worried even more. What would I eat? The school was serving my least favorite food, so I didn't want to have it. But then, something really awesome happened. All of my friends gave me a little bit of their lunches, and all of their little bits added up to one whole amazing lunch. It was quite delicious, actually. Even though I could have waited to eat after school or taken the school lunch, it meant so much that my friends shared with me. It turns out that I didn't need to worry. God provided for my needs through my friends. This is a great example of what Jesus meant when he talked about God's kingdom. The kingdom means that God is really in charge and Jesus is the rightful king of all people. Jesus knows that we live in a world where a lot of things are not the way God intends. There's a lot of suffering and hurt and a lot of things to worry about, like forgetting our lunch. But there will be a day when evil will be gone forever and every need will be met. Until that day comes, Jesus tells his followers to do something really interesting. He tells us not to worry. In Jesus' famous sermon called the Sermon on the Mount, he told the people, do not worry. Don't worry about your life and what you will eat or drink. And don't worry about your body and what you will wear. Isn't there more to life than eating? Aren't there more important things for the body than clothes? I'll bet all of us have had a day kind of like the day I forgot my lunch. We start thinking about one thing that might go wrong and then before you know it, our minds are exploding with worries. That reminds me of today's experiment. I'm gonna make something called elephant toothpaste. I'll pour half a cup of hydrogen peroxide into an empty water bottle. I'm gonna add 10 drops of food coloring to make it look bright. Next, I add about a tablespoon of dish soap. I will switch this all around to mix it together. Now, for the second part, I have a tablespoon of warm water, and I'm going to mix it in with a packet of yeast. Here's where it gets exciting. I'm gonna pour the yeast water into the bottle and the elephant toothpaste will start foaming out. Isn't that so cool? When the ingredients come together, they release water and oxygen. The soap makes it bubble, so it looks like everything expands. It's called elephant toothpaste because when it comes out, it looks like an elephant-sized squeeze of toothpaste. Have you ever noticed that when you start to worry about one thing, it just causes you to worry more? Before you know it, one small thought turns into a jumble of elephant-sized worries. And if you think about it, our worries can get big and out of control. They just distract us and make us miserable. And if we spend all our time worrying, how will God work through us to bring hope to the world? But Jesus teaches us a better way to live. He tells us, put God's kingdom first. Do what he wants you to do. Then all those things will also be given to you. One of the ways that God does this is through his people, the church. The first Christians learned that by sharing all that they had, they could make sure that no one was left hungry. Many churches today also provide for those who need help. That sounds a lot like what my friends did for me the day I forgot my lunch. God doesn't promise to give us everything we ask for, but as people of God, we don't need to let worries grow like elephant toothpaste. We can trust God to provide us with everything we need so we can be his messengers for the kingdom. Jesus teaches us how to live.